Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with Transwest Truck Trailer RV. Thanks for tuning in again today. Today I'm going to kind of walk you through a 2020 Cimarron Showstar LX. It is stock number 5N200168. There's multiple reasons why I wanted to walk you through this trailer, but we'll kind of start right at the front and kind of work our way to the back. One thing that Cimarron has done is they went in and, and teamed up with B&W. The nice thing is, is Cimarron's a US company and so is B&W. So they teamed up with B&W and went in and they helped design this new gooseneck coupler that Cimarron uses on their trailers. It's 25,000 pound capacity coupler. It's got a great locking feature to it. That pin just drops down. And you know that it's locked in when these two holes line up. So if you want to put a pin in there or if you have the right size um, padlock, you can actually lock this coupler up if you'd like. So that's something that is on all these Cimarron gooseneck trailers. Again, two great US companies that have teamed up and, and created a really good coupler right there that we really, really like. Now we'll dive into the trailer a little bit. The other reason why I picked this trailer out is this trailer has air ride suspension. So we're gonna kinda shift and we're gonna come right back. And the reason why is I wanted to show you that this trailer right now, the air ride is off and this trailer is in the lower position. So we talk about how it'll actually pick the box of this trailer up when the air ride's on. But for this trailer, with it being used for small animals, your hogs, your, your lambs, your goats, we have multiple people that'll throw calves on here as well, but the box is lower to the ground right now. And with these side ramps, if we would pick this box up, it will change the angle of these ramps. It'll actually make it steeper for animals getting on and off the trailer. So we tell our customers, when you get to a show and you're unloading, go ahead and put it in the lower position. It makes the box lower to the ground. It's a nice slope coming off of those side ramps. Same thing when you're loading before you're coming home. Go ahead and have it lowered, and then before you leave, put it in the raised position, and then it will pick the box up. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to show you, we're going to put this tape measure kind of about dead center. And as you can see, roughly to the tire, it's actually about three inches. So we'll come back to this in a little bit and we'll remeasure that. And I'm going to walk you through how to operate that air ride system. And again, we'll go double check that. Underneath this trailer, we put the roll-up door, which is fantastic. It keeps everything nice and clean, and it helps with road blast. So that guy just rolls up. We'll kind of point out a couple things before we dive into the air ride. You know, spare tire, the electric over hydraulic jack. It's very, very responsive. We've got a battery box. And then we go in and we put, if it's got a hydraulic jack on it, we go ahead and put that battery disconnect on every trailer. <clears throat> You'll also see these two pieces right there. That is for your generator. So if you've got a portable generator that you want to mount underneath here, you can. And we've got the open so it'll vent out. We have to have that open to, for that venting. Over here is the compressor for the air ride system. So it's a self-contained compressor. This system is made by Dexter Axles. So they've gone in, they have rubber torsion axles. We have a shock kit and then we have the air ride system. So if something happens to this, our airlines, our bags, anything to do with the air itself, it'll set down as it's sitting on rubber torsion axles and you can get down the road. You're not stuck there. But it's a very easy system to use. I kind of tell customers, get in the habit of when you're hooking this trailer up, just walk over, 
This is your on off switch. You'll turn that guy on. This is currently in the lower position, this knob is, and then there's the raise position. But again, like I was talking about, having the trailer ready to go, but getting your animals when it's in the lower position, again, that changes those angles on those side ramps and rear ramps a little bit, making it easier for them to get in. But as you're hooking this trailer up, you just turn this on. That compressor will kick on. You can see right here on the gauge, it's already building up air. And right now, what we're doing is we're just building the air in the system itself. We're not actually putting it to the bags and picking the trailer up because it is in the lower position. How much air do you want to build before you put it in the raised position? So this system is already kind of preset. So what it'll do is it'll get to about 142, 143 PSI. It kind of ranges between that 140 and 145, but usually around that 142, 143, it will kick off at that point. So there's no adjusting. You turn it on and you go down the road. But here in a second, this guy's gonna kick off. And right there it goes. So now again, we have it in the lower position and it's ready. So now go ahead and load up all your animals, make sure everything's buttoned up and ready for you to go down the road. And then all you do is you walk over here and you roll this to the raised position and this compressor will kick back on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this in the raised position. We're gonna go look at the rest of this trailer. We'll go back and we'll check that ride height. And then when we're done, we'll come back up here and I'll show you how to shut this system down. But all you do is you just roll it to the raised position and then the compressor kicks back on. So now we'll dive a little bit more into this trailer and how it's equipped. So this is a six foot front tack room. We've gone in and put the digital combo lock on the door for you. So yes, you do have a key lock, but if somebody needs to run out to the trailer to get something and you don't have the keys with you, you can go in here and punch this code in and open it up. This is also a new color from Cimarron that we've just done. This is their charcoal metallic. It's a very dark charcoal in the sun you can really see the flakes sparkling in the sunlight. Now as we jump into this tack room, six foot front tack. The reason why we really like the six foot tack is because we can put a, a good sized door on there, but then we can put this large 18 inch boot box all the way across this gooseneck drop wall because again a lot of the buckets that the small animal livestock customers use will fit down in here in the 12 it actually catches this edge and they can't sit down in there <clears throat> up here on the driver's side is our 30 amp breaker package so we put power to this trailer. So again, I mentioned out front that we have that generator um, platform down there. And it's so you can plug your generator right into this trailer and we'll get back in the, in the back area and I can show you some outlets and things like that we've done. But by going in and having Cimarron put that package in there, you know, it saves a lot of time and money later on if you're wanting to add like an AC unit to this trailer or certain, certain components to this trailer. So that all, all that's already done for you. We got you a shelf with a clothes rod. We know that you're taking change of clothes for the kids when you go to shows. So it's a nice kind of place that's out of the way. And then back here on this partition wall, we went in and carpeted the whole thing. We put some nice big hooks up here for you to hang some stuff. And then we put this airliner track a couple spots on that wall. So there's different hooks that you can get you can bring equipment in here, push it up against the wall, and ratchet strap it with those hooks. Just keeps everything nice and secure for you going down the road. The other thing is there's a pass-through door on this trailer that you can go into the stall area. So if you're showing off the trailer, you know, kids can come in here and get changed, or you can grab, you know, equipment or anything you need 
get your animals ready for the show. You can come in, grab that, and just go right in there rather than going outside and around the trailer. So now, back here in the stall area, again, with this trailer's equipped with a side ramp. You know, go in and, and put the extra gate over the side ramp and then over on the escape door as well. That's so you can open this trailer up, get a lot of airflow through here, and still have the animals in here not trying to get off the trailer. Also for, these are, you know, a little bit lower profile trailers. This is 6'4 tall. So we've gone in and add some head padding just to kind of protect you because we've all hit our head on a low profile trailer getting in and out. On the LX, come standard with your drop windows. And then also on your lower air gap, it has that alu aluminum fold down slat. This is one of my favorite features on these trailers. And the reason why is we know, especially springtime shows, uh, you know, it can be really, really cool in the morning and then it gets really hot during the daytime. So instead of having to deal with plexiglass pulling in and out, this is something you can stop, open this trailer up really, really quickly and get that airflow down to where the animals are. I really love that feature on these trailers. A Couple little upgrades we did. If you look at the top rail of this trailer, the marker lights are button lights rather than your kind of regular uh, rectangular that stick off the trailer. These put off a lot of light. They're LED, so not a, not a major power draw. Just gives a nice clean look to it. On this one here, we went in and upgraded to 16 ply tires. So a little heavier duty tire. And then because of the color package on this trailer, we opted for the black aluminum wheels. So these again are nitrogen filled tires. That's what that green tab is. It's gonna help the PSI levels from fluctuating drastically, causing blowouts. So that nitrogen filled kind of keeps it to where they'll, they'll fluctuate just a couple pounds is all. The other nice thing that Cimarron does with their vendor that they use for their wheels and tires is that that vendor offers a one year, no questions asked warranty on those tires. So if you can hit a nail or a screw and it can't be patched, take a couple pictures of some codes and they'll send you a new tire within a couple days. And you also get two years of roadside assistance on that. As we come to the back of this trailer, we have 50-50 rear ramps. So they individually can be open or closed with 50-50 rear doors. Cimarron here recently has gone in and designed some new cam latches for the back of these trailers. It is a two-point locking system. It's stainless steel. It's a really nice system that they've gone in and done on these trailers. So if you look over here, this is a little different hinge than you'd see on most Cimarron's. And we do these on these back doors of these trailers. These are the wraparound hinges. And the reason why I kind of touched on, if you're showing off this trailer at some jackpots, you know, a lot of times you're parked really close to somebody. With these wraparound hinges, I can swing them around the trailer and lock them into place so they're out of the way and they're not winged out. And you're trying to get by with with animals at the show. So that's a really nice thing. And we do that on all of our show stars here at Simra, at uh, Transwest, excuse me. If we get to the back here, adjustable 10 pin. I've got this left side completely open. We can kind of walk in here and look at this system itself. So again, I can adjust these from 50-50 to 60-40. If you look at these gates, they've come in and redesigned these, you know, pull knobs for the gates. This is really easy to use. It's not pinching fingers, but a nice little system they've gone in and done. 
So on this trailer, you'll notice no mats. We don't like to put mats in these trailers because when you go to pull them out to clean out this trailer with where the posts are, it's kind of like a puzzle when you go to put it back in. It's very, very difficult. So we tell customers you can either bed down really good or you can look at an option like worm flooring. That's something we can add to this trailer. Or if we're building you one, we can just have it done right then and, and then you just pick it up and it's ready to go. The other thing is on these gates, you can go in and have them powder coated if you'd like. You can pick different colors, but that is an option as well. We discussed a little bit up front about that 30 amp breaker package. And you'll notice up here on this driver's side, we put some outlets. We put three sets of outlets, one at the front, one in the middle, one at the back. So if you are getting ready for a show and you need power back here, all you have to do is plug in, whether it's to that portable generator you have underneath or another power source, and you can do what you want to. And we put this traveling gate track in here. So if you did want to hang some fans in here, we can get you the brackets. Again, about a 12 inch Schaefer bar barn fan works really, really well in these trailers for the size. The other thing we did is we framed for an AC unit. Again, in Colorado, we don't have the, quite the humidity that they do down in the south. Some customers do like to have an air conditioner put on them. This part's already done. We've got the power to it. It saves a lot of headaches and makes it very, very easy to do after the fact. We'll come over to this side of the trailer on driver's side. We talked about that escape door and putting the gate over it. So again, it's another access point, but that gate will keep the animals in there. And then we put that fold up step. So it's a nice, easy uh, transition jumping up into this trailer. It's also easy for the kids. A lot of times you're traveling with young kids, older kids, but it makes it really easy for them to be jumping in and out of the trailer. So these LXs have been incredibly good sellers and, and very, very popular in the industry. We've got a couple of them on hand. Again, this one is air ride equipped. That air ride is just so amazing for the ride, for the animals and the way the trailer pulls. But the most important thing is the animals. They're gonna lay down like they're in the barn. I mean, they really feel very comfortable. They're fresh. When you get to the show, they come off the trailer, you're ready to go to the show ring. It is a game changer in the industry. So now covering kind of the trailer itself, let's kind of circle back around to the air ride part of it. I'm gonna grab the tape measure. Again, when we left up front, the compressor is running with it in the raised position. I don't hear the compressor running, it's picked everything up. But now, if we go back and look, you know, it's about five inches, maybe a touch over of clearance. So let's pick this trailer up about two, two and a half inches, somewhere right in there. Now we're running on that air ride. So again, you just turn that compressor on, you put it in the raised position and you go down the road. It is that simple. It is not a difficult system to use at all. But what I want to do is I want to kind of circle back around to that and show you how to just shut it down. If you stop to eat lunch, maybe you're out of the truck an hour, hour and a half, not a big deal, just leave it. Don't even mess with the system. If you get to a show and you're going to be there all day, again, lowering it makes that transition off those, those ramps easier for the animals. We'll shut it down. When you get home, shut it down. You get to a show, you shut it down. Again, if you got that kind of window about an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, it's not a big deal to leave the system on. Um, but when you go to put it away, that's kind of a main time for you to go in and shut the entire system down. So what I do is, is I go in and I turn off the switch itself, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this knob to the lower position and we're losing air, so this compressor just wanna kick back on. So if the power's off to it, now I roll it, you'll start seeing on the gauge that we're starting to lose some air pressure. So the 
box itself is pushing down on the trailer right now, forcing the air out of the bags. So you get home from the show, you park the trailer, you turn it off, you put it in the lower position. This will continually start to drop. But because of the video, I'm going to kind of expedite the process. Over here is a little cable. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this cable. And you can see we're drastically dropping right now. So the last thing I want to do is when it's, when it's down, is I do want to come to this cable and just pull on it. And what I don't want to hear is I'm going to hold this till it stops hitting hissing at me. And what that's doing is, is that's releasing all that basically moisture in the lines, you know, air condensates in those lines. If we don't clear that out, if it is cold weather, it can potentially create, you know, freeze and crack a line and do some damage to the air ride system. And then you've got an air leak and you got to get that fixed. So if you just walk and pull this guy and at the very bottom here, you can kind of see there's just a little bit of moisture that I got out of there. But then the air ride system's off and on this trailer, I go into my battery disconnect up here and I turn it to the off position and I kill this trailer. I make it to where none of the lights can come on. Now we are, we are plugged in, so you're gonna see some lights on, um, but you just go in and you, you turn that off, the trailer's dead. So when you go to hook up, you don't have a dead battery in case somebody left a light on. So we appreciate you tuning in. Again, this is a 2020 Cimarron Showstar 10-pin LX with air ride, with air ride suspension. This is a very, very well-equipped trailer. You would be extremely happy to be pulling to shows with this trailer, and your animals are gonna love it too because the ride's gonna be fantastic. They're gonna be able to, again, walk off the trailer and be able to go right to the ring. They're gonna be fresh. It is a game changer in the industry. We spend a lot of time and a lot of money on these animals. You might as well get them there to where they're gonna compete at the highest level. We appreciate you tuning in. If you have any questions about this trailer, any other trailers we might have, you want some videos, let us know. But give us a call, 303-684-3400. Again, my name is CJ Altenberg. You can contact me if you'd like. Give us a call and let us know how we can help. Thanks for tuning in.